It's like that cheesy thing where someone says, like, your hardest opponent's just yourself. But I like the main thing for me was like growing up, um, I used to get bullied a little bit in like primary school because I was overweight. And I was about like eight, I was 10 stone. So I was like a little chubby kid. And then um, my dad always wanted me to box when I was younger. So he was like, to lose the weight, you're gonna go into a boxing gym. And my mom was behind the idea and I never wanted to do that. So um, I kind of got thrown into it at the deep end a little bit and then started to love it. And I think that kind of defined my masculinity in a sense that I went from being not a victim or anything like that, I wouldn't say, but being uncomfortable in my own skin to then turn around becoming a lot more confident in who I was myself. So I changed not because, oh, you know, I want to be a boxer or anything like this. I want people to not mess around with us. I just wanted to be myself. And I think the boxing enabled us to be myself because nobody was going to give us any shit anymore, you know what I mean? Because of the new, <laughs> that new how to fight. So I feel like that played a big, big part in it, to be honest with you. Like that's the thing, I feel like you get a lot of bullies like that. In talking about masculinity and stuff, that isn't really masculine. That's just taking the piss, do you know what I mean? You're, you're attacking someone because, one, you probably think to yourself, I've had, especially when people are drunk, you know what I mean? They think, oh, well, I can fight anyone. And two, you know what I mean? If you see two generally nice, smiley looking lads, and you get some, like, kind of, you know, like shaved ape, six foot three, brick shit house, they'll just think, oh, I can take them anyway. I feel like masculinity is more just getting on with everyone and being comfortable in yourself. You don't need to show everyone, oh, I can do this, or, you know, I can fight, or I can, if you're a sprint, I can run 100 metres in such and such seconds. Just have it in your back pocket and be comfortable enough to have it if you need it. Like, my first few sessions at the gym, I came home and I would cry, because I was terrified of going back, because the coaches scared us, the lads scared us, and I didn't like getting punched. But then when you start training more and more and more, you realise, oh, these lads are actually just like me. You start talking to them and you realise that these lads are like, you know, scared to talk to girls or these lads are scared to walk past the group of like, you know, youths in the street on their own still. Like, just because they've got this sport and this skill in the back pocket, they're still the same people. And that kind of enabled me to be a lot more comfortable in my own skin. Yeah, I think the thing with me as well, like I say, when I was younger and I wasn't very confident, like my dad wanted it to build my confidence. And even now, I think it got to a point where he knows that I can handle myself now. So he's went from like one end of the spectrum where he's like, you need to learn to do this and this and this, to now where he's like, if I go out on a night out with me and my friends or my girlfriend, anyone, he's just like, just come home safe. Don't do anything brash. You know, you don't need to prove yourself to anyone. And that, I suppose that's masculinity in a sense, you know what I mean? When my dad was growing up, he used to get into fights all the time. Like that, I think that was one, the way of the world back then two was mates and then three like a bit of male pride and I think he just doesn't want that same thing for me and I think now that he knows that you know what my son's going to be okay it's more you know don't get into a fight it don't hurt someone don't get hurt for the sake of oh but look how big and strong I am you know you can't talk to me like that just let it go and just come home it's like that cheesy thing where someone says like your hardest opponents just yourself like, you know, like the mental side to it. Like, if you believe in yourself, like boxing's just a metaphor for life, really. I think that's why I like it so much. It's like, you know, like all the cheesy stuff where people are like, oh, if you get knocked down, get back up and all that. But it's true. It is genuinely true. Like, life in mental health and everything in general within life is a fight. So I feel like that's why I kind of relate to it a little bit more. Not because I've been through a shit ton in my life, just because I understand that kind of dynamic.